Welcome to a new section for class 10 physics. In this video, we are going to study some basics of image formations and some terms related to it. First, we are going to revise how we see an object. We know we are seeing an object by seeing the reflected light from that object if it is an opaque object. That is, the reflected light from that object travels to your eyes. For that, your sight must be along a line in the direction of the reflected light from that object. This direction of our sight in a specific direction is referred to as the line of sight. So if you want to see an object, then you must be in the line of sight. Now we are going to see how we can see an image. We know light emanates from an object in variety of directions and this we call ray of lights. So some of these lights reaches the mirror and reflects of the mirror according to the law of reflection. If we are in the line of sight of the image, then we could able to see the image. This is the basic concept of seeing an image. You can easily explain the image formation by plane mirrors. This you already studied in previous classes. We are now going to just revise it. Consider a mirror with a reflecting surface like this. An object is placed here. Rays of lights are emanating from this object like this. These rays will reflect it obeying the laws of reflection. If we are in the line of sight of these rays, then we can see the image of the object. That these rays are appear to be coming from a source here. And that is the image formed of that object. So we are seeing the image of the object here. If we are in the line of sight of this reflected rays. Let us now rewind some terms related to image. First real image. What is a real image? A real image is an image when the light rays arising from a single source converges to a particular point like this. So if we place a screen here, the image will be presented on the screen and this type of image is called real image. So this image can be really presented on a screen if you place a screen on that plane where these rays converges. Second type of image is virtual image.
when the apparent divergence of light from a definite point produces an image it is known as virtual image that is if rays coming from an object is appear to be coming from a point so we can see it appears to be coming from this point then this type of images are called virtual images if you place a screen here on this point you cannot capture image on a screen this type of images are called virtual image now the third term we are going to study here is erect image an image in which the directions are the same as those in the object are erect image that is if the object is like this then the image will also be like this so this is object and this is image then this type is called erect image that is the directions of image are of same as that of object now the fourth term we are going to study here is inverted image in an inverted image the image is upside down when compared to the object that is if object is like this then image will be upside down this type of image are called inverted image now we are going to study terms related to size of image first term is enlarged image if the size of the image formed is larger than the object the image is said to be enlarged like if the object is this much and if the image that may be inverted or erect but the size is larger than the object then this type is called enlarged image next term is diminished image in the diminished image the size of image formed is smaller than the object that is if object is this much size then image is smaller than object then that type is called a diminished image next is same size in this type the image is having equal size with that of object that is if object is this much size then image will also be of same size and the last term we are going to study here is point size or highly diminished in this case the size of the image is highly diminished 
and it appears like a point. So the image of the object is appear like a point and it is highly diminished. In this video we studied some basics of image formation and some important terms related to image. These are important for coming videos. Stay tuned with us. Thank you for watching this video. Keep learning. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it. Also, please like and share this video.